Now you can resample within the sample mode of the Phantom XA, but I just find this a very quick way to do it without going too, through too many of the screens. Anyway, let's go ahead and explore the sampling section of the Phantom XA by pressing sampling. The main sampling screen shows you the sampling capacity of the Phantom XA and in the stock one we have 4 megabytes total. You can add up to 512 megabytes additional DIMMs for 516 megabytes total memory. Now, how come even though I have 4 megabytes worth of memory here, how come I only have 2 megabytes free? You might have heard the factory demo that came with the unit and there's some vocals and other samples that need to be in the unit will be present to make those factory demos work. Well, they live in flash RAM and they're set up to automatically load up at startup and there's about two megabytes of them and that's what we're looking at right now. In fact, press sample list, you may actually have to press it again to get to the list here and here are all the samples that we used in the factory demos here. We recognize some of these as we get down here to the vocals. Get spontaneous. Let's get serious. Now, we don't need these guys right now, so I'll go ahead and press Exit, Menu, System, which is Enter again. We'll go underneath General, Auto Load, <laughs> you find me here, and here we go, Load Preset Samples at Startup. Let's go ahead and set that to Off. I'll write that to Memory, and I'll repower up. And while that's loading up, we'll find that once it's all loaded up, all that sample memory will be free. Sure enough, all four megabytes are free now. Now those preset samples are still in ROM someplace. We're just not, uh, we're just electing not to have them automatically loaded into RAM. Okay, let's go ahead and do some sampling. Press F1, sampling. We'll move up here to input select. We can choose between the stereo line ends, just the left, for mono and finally a microphone that would come into the left line in. Now I've plugged a microphone into the left input. Let's go ahead and select that guy here. Is this going to be a stereo or a mono sample? Let's go ahead and select mono. Okay, while I'm talking, let's just adjust the input. Okay, until we get a level that's up there. Great. Check, 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 check. That looks pretty good. Now, if you want to access further input settings, press the input setting button and you can put your input through effects and so on. Let's just go ahead and leave this dry. Okay, here we go. I'll go ahead and press start. Hey, I'm sampling. Now, if you like, you can cursor to the left to zoom out and that way you can see the sample. If you hold down shift and curse up and down, then that can help you view the sample. It doesn't amplify the sample, it just helps you with the zooming. So you can see that there's a fair bit of dead air there before that I actually spoke. But if I went back into sampling, sampling here, and I turn auto trigger on, an interesting thing will happen. As soon as I hit F2, it'll come up here saying waiting for input. And then as soon as I speak, it will automatically start sampling. Check it out. I'll be quiet as soon as I press this. Auto-triggering is hands-free. Okay, check it out. Played it right from the beginning. Auto-triggering auto, 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 auto is hands-free.